What's going on guys? Thank you for watching JG Tech Blog and for today's video we're going to be doing an unboxing of the LG G4 and also a quick review about the phone. First of all I want to thank LG for giving out this phone so we can do the review and uh, don't worry guys uh, I will not you know favor for LG just because they gave me the phone I'm going to be doing an honest review about it and also I'm not going to be doing an in-depth review only later on when I have a hands-on experience hopefully for a couple days so I can give you more of an honest review. So this is the LG G4. Uh, the box might be different for you guys just because this is a demo version which is not for sale. So stay subscribed to my channel. I'll probably also doing a um, giveaway of this phone later on. So let's go for, without further ado into the unboxing. This is the phone right here. Pretty nice. Uh, not much that comes with it, just the watch charger and the cable. Uh, the phone itself, I don't know, it looks pretty, feels very heavy actually. Uh, heavier than the Galaxy S5 and the Galaxy S6 uh, when I did the review for those. You don't have the volume buttons on the side anywhere, they're in the back. So that's the volume down, that's the volume up, that's the power button. Uh, the speaker, they have it here in the back. I'm not a real big fan of that because when you hold the phone, you're holding it like that. You're basically covering up where the speaker is at. LED right here, the 16 megapixel camera, the sensors, and the um, autofocus laser, which is in the back. Uh, the phone itself, uh, otherwise, looks pretty decent. 5.5 inch screen. It's uh, running a 1440 by 2560 pixels. Uh, 538 uh, pixels per inch. Oh, that's a pretty cool feature right here where if you slide down like that, you see the notification of the time. And if you have any other notifications, let go and it's gone. Uh, if you double tap it, it comes right back on. Double tap, goes right back off. Anyways, another cool feature about this phone is that it is actually a removable battery, which is pretty nice. Not other flagship phones are doing that anymore, like the Galaxy S6 and the iPhones. This is a 3000 uh, megaamp per hour battery and, and it has a um, doesn't have a, as much as a powerful processor as the Galaxy S6 which give you more battery time because uh, it doesn't drain as much. Also has a SD slot where you could put up to two terabytes. I don't know who honestly would use that much space but if you do you can uh, put it in there. So for all those fans that don't like um, not being able to remove your battery because a lot of people they just like that if you're at zero want to go to 100% just swap out a battery and you got it anyways let's go more into the phone double tap that's a pretty cool uh, screensaver right there all right let's get in here um, if you the screen is pretty nice actually, it's pretty uh, bright, you got all these uh, true colors and it's pretty fast, no delay, nothing like that. I've downloaded a lot of apps, still moving and I have a lot of things running and it's still going smooth. Okay, uh, so it's a 16 megapixel camera in the back, 8 megapixel camera in the front. So let's go into the camera. Right there. Oh, another thing though. If your phone is off like that and you double tap the down button, down volume, look what happens. You go straight to the camera and it takes a picture. Okay? And if you double tap in the up volume button, it goes straight to the notepad. And you could draw or write any memos or anything like that. Um, another cool feature is in these widgets right here. They have, I use this, I'm going to use this a lot. I know if I have this phone, I'm going to use that a lot. It, you can turn off all interruptions. You can press it again. It gives you only priority interruptions and then totally just block all interruptions, alarms, etc, etc. Um, another cool thing is it has a flashlight right here. An LED in the back. If you want to customize the widgets right here, you can hold it down. That little bu button comes up. You can change the icons. I'll just keep it at that. Another cool feature is you can actually uh, change these buttons on the, on the bottom. Just go to settings, home screen, actually home touch buttons, button combination. 
and you could remove things. For example, this one right here, I don't really use this too much. This is the, um, I think it's the two windows. You can, for example, put YouTube right here if you want to at the same time be going browsing the internet. Uh, pretty cool. Some people might be useful for me, not really too much. So I, I can just completely remove that. So you can do this. Ooh, let's go back here. You go back to settings. So if I want to just completely remove that, I can just go here. The dual window is gone. So I just have these three buttons now. And you could, you know, change their positions. You leave them like that. Okay. If you have any other questions or if I missed anything, please put them in the comment section below. Like I said, I'm going to be doing another video, which is the, uh, the LG G4 versus the Galaxy S6 and the iPhone 6. So don't forget to be subscribed. And once I do the giveaway of this phone as well, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.